Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello, now we will discuss fault tree analysis gate by gate method. Actually, this is under the fault tree quantification. In last class, you have seen how fault tree is constructed. So, repeat this. So, what happened? You first find out the top event, then find out the first level contributors, then find out some logic gate to link with the first level contributors, and then find out the second level contributors, and then find out gate again. again you find out get here, then maybe the fourth level contribu contributors. Suppose here one end gate, another contribution and here may be or gate and contribution. So, this top event is finally linked to bottom events, these are the component level events B 1, B 2, B 3, B 4, B 5, B 6, B 7, B 8, B 9. Okay. So, when you are at the top level, we say that you, you use the concept called INS, find out the immediate necessary sufficient that intermediate events, immediate bottom events which will cause the top events, put a particular gate and then uh, that gate is a logical gate, here this logic gate is AND. So, this means these three immediate event must occur for the top event to occur. Now, here this one is may be the subsystem level um, that failure event, then you require to find out further events at the lower level and in this process from system level event to the component level event you find out and at the component level you use PSC concept. Okay, and this is what is known as fault tree construction. Now, once the fault tree is constructed you require to quantify the top event that is what is the quantification here probability of top event if top event equal to E then what is the probability of E. So, how can you get it? You can get if P e or you can quantify P e given the basic events. As basic events are the component level events, their data is available or data can be obtained from reliability handbook or data can be obtained from historical records or at the uh, at, at the last may be you will go by expert opinion from subjective probability to uh, objective probability computation you can do. So, that means, what is required for fault tree quantification? In fault tree quantification input is first is the for qualitative fault tree. This qualitative fault tree links the top event to the bottom event or component level event. Then you require to know the component level probability or basic event probabilities. Basic event probabilities, probabilities can be found from historical data historical data, basic given probabilities, historical data. Number 2 can be reliability handbook, reliability handbook. Number 3, you <coughs> may be your manufacturer will specify this one, manufacturer specification. Number 4, 
many cases you, you rely expert rely on expert opinion. So, expert op opinion can be subjective in nature, it can be it can be objectively uh, quantified the probability. So, once you have the bottom level or basic event probabilities, then you can compute the top event that is probability of top event by different methods. Okay. One of the method is gate by gate method. So, in this lecture we will discuss this gate by gate method. Okay. So, another method will be cut set method. Okay. So, that we will discuss in next lecture. So, for your reference I you follow this book probability risk assessment and management for engineer and scientist this is by Komamoto and Henle and you can go through uh, any of good stat good reliability engineering handbook or safety engineering book uh, you will find out the quantification part fault tree quantification. Okay. So, then what is our topic in this lecture fault tree quantification by gate by gate method. So, let me repeat the aim of fault tree quantification is to find out the probability of the top event to occur when the probability of the basic event occurrences are known. The basic event may be independent or dependent the assumptions of independency make the mathematics simpler dependent basic events are result of common cause failure. The two mostly used method for quantification is gate by gate method and cut set method we will see both this lecture gate by gate method followed by cut set method. So, when you talk about gate by gate method this is what is the issue. First is when there is AND gate then the Venn diagram that means probability B 1 and B 2 these two events their probability P B 1 and P B 2 are known. Now, here the top event is E. So, what is the probability the top event will occur given that the bottom event or component event occurs. This is a very simple one. So, now this equivalent main diagram is this, this first circle talks about probability of B 1 and second circle talk about probability of B 2. What is AND gate? AND gate means both B 1 and B 2 should occur then only the top event will occur. So, that means, in this diagram you can see what is the common portion this common portion the black portion this is the probability that both B 1 and B 2 occur. So, the common portion when is 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 basically logically represented by AND gate. So, that is why probability of E equal to probability of B 1 into probability of B 2 this is the common portion. So, intersection that is probability of E equal to probability of B 1 intersection probability of E equal to probability of B 1 intersection B 2. B 1 intersection B 2 is this overlap portion. So, so, suppose this is the simplest fault tree. So, you have one top event and two basic bottom event and your calculation is like this. Now, what will happen if you have B 1, B 2, B 3? So, if they are independent ultimately P B 1 into P B 2 into P B 3 like this. Suppose the second this is what is get by a get quantification, but in, in a real fault tree there will be many gates. So, many you have to compute every gate. So, that is why gate by gate method. So, first basic gate operation or quantification you see. Second one, second one is OR gate. What is OR gate? That means, if any of the basic event occur top event will occur this is our OR gate. If any of the basic event occur top event will occur. Now, the probability of B 1 is represented by this first circle B 2 represented by the second circle. So, then if I say that both either B 1, B 2 or both will occur 
then this overlap portion and the non overlap portion all portion. So, that means the probability is this portion this portion plus this portion that means non overlap portion of B 1 non overlap portion of B 2 plus overlap portion. So, then what is P B 1? P B 1 is the first circle. So, probability of probability of E equal to probability of B 1 union B 2. So, this union means the total. Here what happened? This equal to probability of B 1 for this portion. Now, probability of B 2 again this portion. So, by adding probability of B 1 and probability of B 2, you are adding this overlap portion twice. What is this overlap portion? That is P inter joint probability intersection P B 1 and P B 2. So, as by adding P B 1 and plus P B 2, you are adding this overlap portion twice. So, one reduction that means subtraction is possible required. So, that is P B 1 plus P B 2 minus P B 1 and P B 2. So, this is basically if it is OR gate, you will use this formula. What will happen if it is a priority, if it is a priority and gate? So, priority and gate means B 1, B 2 should occur, but the order. So, that means first B 1 occur followed by B 2 occur. So, the probability of E is definitely the intersection probability of B 1 intersection B 2 into something. What is this? That how many order possible and how many is in favor. So, as there are two input events, so either B 1, B 2, B 1 first occur followed by B 2 or B 2 first occur followed by B 1. So, that means it is factorial 2 ways this will occur. How many combinations are favoring this to happen? Only one. So, what is the probability of that priority ordering 1 by factorial 2? So, that is why that P B 1 into P B 2 into probability of that combination suppose C and then that is 1 by 2. So, this is the probability. Now, what will happen if you have something more? So, what will happen? P B 1 into P B 2 into P B 3 like this into P B k divided by factorial k because this order is very, very important. So, this is priority and gate. Similarly, exclusive or gate. Exclusive or gate means what happened? Either this occur, this occur, but not both. So, this is the symbol. Now, if we write probability of E, the top event, P B 1 first part plus P B 2 second part, then twice we have taken this 2 P B 1 P B 2. Okay. So, you either use Venn diagram or some logic, but you have to have for every gate you have to have find out the gate the output probability of the gate given the input input probability either it is and gate or gate or exclusive or gate or parity and gate that is what you have to do. Now, here I am showing you that how this formula is derived this formula. You see this is our priority and gate. Its equivalent representation is this that P B 1 or B 1, B 2 should occur, but at the same time the condition is B 1 exists when B 2 occurs. That means, B 2 already or B 1 occurs before B 2 occurs. So, this equivalently represented by this. So, B 1, B 1, B 2, B 2 and this condition we are representing by C. So, that means, it is an end gate with three inputs B 1, B 2 and C. The C part a probability of C is this. So, that is the derivation. Now, exclusive or gate 
we have seen that P B 1 P P probability of E what you have seen probability of E P B 1 plus P B 2 minus 2 P B 1 P B 2. What is exclusive or gate? That either of the two of should occur, but not both. So, it is equivalent, this is exclusive or gate, it is equivalent or and representation is this. So, B1 should occur, B2 should not occur, that is why B2 bar. Here B2 occur, but B1 should not occur, that is B1 bar. Then B1 occur, B2 does not occur, then this AND gate, if this condition satisfied, E will occur. Other way B2 occur, B1 will not occur, this condition satisfied, E will occur. So, that is why these two conditions with, with in terms of in the gate of G1 and G2 are linked with E by an OR gate, this is an OR gate. So, if G1 condition and G2 condition either of the two occurs then E 1 will occur. So, it is equivalent probability representation that means, this is equivalently represented by this. Now, if you want to compute the probability then this is what is the computation. Probability of E probability this this is linked with gate G 1 and G 2 by an OR gate. So, that is why the top event probability is this this immediate child event probability child that input probability G 1 plus G 2 minus their intersections that you have seen in OR gate. Now, what is G 1? G 1 is G 1 you have seen that G 1 link this is an this is basically an AND gate with B 1 and B 2 bar. So, B 1 and this side B 2 bar B 1 should occur B 2 should not occur. So, that is why G 1 because of AND gate it is B 1 intersection B 2 bar. So, G 1 we can write in terms of Venn diagram B 1 intersection B 2 bar. Now, this can be written as B 1 intersection 1 minus B 2 because B 2 that means, that event either occur or does not occur. The occurrence if it is B 2 then 1 B 2 bar is 1 minus this. So, then this can be written as B 1 minus B 1 intersection B 2, B 1 intersection B 2 that is what is written here. So, as a result what happen when you are writing P G 1 you are writing P B 1 minus probability of B 1 intersection B 2 that is what you have written here. Now, P B 1 P B 1 and this intersection as they are independent that is P B 1 into P B 2. So, the first gate is probability is quantified. Similarly, for G 2 also for G 2 that is also an N gate and you will find out that it is B 1 bar and B 2 these are the input. So, B 1 bar is 1 minus B 1 and B 2 B 2. So, when you multiply that th uh, that you do similar derivation you will get P G 2 equal to P B 2 minus probability of B 1 into probability of B 2 P B 2 is probability of B 2. Okay. So, that means, these two gates G 1 and G 2 are quantified. Then what is E? E is linked with an OR gate to what? That is G 1 and G 2. So, when it is OR gate you will see P G 1 probability of G 2 minus this. So, we have quantified P G 1 here by this method P G 2 by this method, but the intersection is not quantified yet. So, if you write intersection G 1 intersection G 2. So, you have already seen that G 1 equal to B 1 minus this. So, you write this and intersection again you write G 2 like this. So, if you do the algebraic manipulation here what happened B 1 B 2 then B 1 B 1 B 2 B 1 B 1 B 1 B 2 then minus B 1 B 2 B 2 
plus B1 intersection B2, B1 intersection this B2 again. So, B1 intersection B2 is ok. Now, B1 B1 B2 is nothing but B1 intersection B2. Then B1 B2 B2 nothing but B1 intersection B2 and this also nothing but B1 intersection B2. So, that means B1 intersection B2 B1 intersection B2 cancel out B1 B2 into which is cancel out this is giving you 0. So, this be, this particular part will become 0. Then P E probability of E this is P G 1 plus P G 2 P G 1 plus P G 2 with an achha, or get okay, this one the same formula we have written here, but this will become 0. So, then P G 1 is what P B 1 then P B 1 into P B 2 and P B 2 like this. So, okay, this can be written like this P B 1 minus P B 1 P B 2 this is for this part P G 2. So, plus P B 2 minus P B 1 P B 2 then this part is 0. So, then P B 1 P B 1 P B 2 P B 2 minus P B 1 into P B 2 minus P B 1 P B 2 2 P B 1 into P B 2 that is what is the derivation. So, if you go back you see this is what is the derivation exclusive or gate P B 1 P B 2 minus 2 P B 1 into P B 2. Now, the last one from the no last two inhibit gate and voting gate. So, we have discussed that inhibit gate in the last class and you have seen that it is nothing but that a an AND gate equivalent AND gate. So, that is why what happen in case of inhibit gate the top event will occur only both the event will occur and it is the intersection. Please remember we are basically talking about all the cases independent basic events. Now, in case of voting gate that you have seen that m out of n. So, if we consider 2 by 3 that 3 inputs are there, if 2 of the 3 inputs occur then the output will occur that is the situation and under 2 by 3 voting case, case then your 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 derivation uh, de probability of top event or the output event will be P B 1 into P B 2 plus P B 2 P B 3 plus P B 3 P B 1 minus 2 P B 1 P B 2 and into P B 3. So, that is what is the formula. Now, we will see that how this formula is derived. Okay. I, I told you about this, this is simple one that uh, it is the inhibit gate and it is equivalent to this and then uh, probability is this. So, we have discussed this, no need of discussing further, but this one let us discuss. Okay. So, what is our what we are doing here? First, this voting gate 2 by 3 gate is represented in equivalent or and and gate this is and gate or and and gate. So, if 2 out of 3 occurs top event will occur. So, then if B 1 B 2 occur top event will occur B 2 B 3 occur top event will occur or B 3 B 1 occur top level will occur. So, what <coughs> that is why what happened that means, this condition, this condition or this condition are in AND gate that gate number G 1, G 2 and G 3 and then any of these conditions occur lead to top event occur that is why the OR gate is given here. So, the quantification gate by gate means first you quantify gate 1, second quantify gate 2, third quantify gate 3, then you quantify this gate 4. So, what is the first gate? They are AND gate. So, it is B 1 and B 2 and G 2 that is B 2 B 3 and G 3 B 3 B 1. So, G 1 
any and then what is the E? Any one of this. So, that means the union part G 1 union G 2 union G 3. So, as a result B 1 G 1 is B 1 intersection B 2, G 2 is B 2 intersection B 3, G 3 is this. So, you do this. Okay. So, if you proceed in this manner, you see your, your ultimate aim is basically to find out the probability of E. Now, this is the equivalent Venn diagram and you see that ultimately the probability from here uh, what is required probability of B 1 and B 2 probability B 1 and B 2 this intersection B 2 B 3. So, B B 2 B 3 this intersection sorry this intersection and B 3 B 1 B 3 B 1 this intersections. So, that means this one this intersection, this intersection and this intersection and then minus the joint one this one oh, B 1, B 2, B 3 this black one. So, that will be because when you are taking this, this and this you are basically considering 3 times the overlap portion. So, 2 times you have to subtract and you subtract and this is your formula. So, now let us see the same principle we will use to quantify a fault tree and the <coughs> fault tree uh, that uh, example that oven fails to burn what we have seen in the last class qualitatively we have developed this and suppose the, uh, the primary failures or the basic events burner failure given cylinder is empty is given automatic valve malfunctioning is also given, operator mistake given, primary failure of valve is also given, tube failure is given, jamming of tube is given, ignore secondary failure of oven and valves, we are ignoring this. So, under this condition your fault tree is this. So, interesting thing is that this all the basic event probabilities you see basic given probabilities are given. Now, what you required to do you start get by get method you cannot you cannot start here because you do not know this probability. So, you have to start from the bottom. So, it is basically bottom up. So, you find out that which are the gates that can be quantified these two probability available. So, and this is an OR gate. So, this con pro probability can be computed similarly this probability can be computed similarly using these two this probability can be computed, but this is not computed cannot be computed because unless we know these two. So, if these two with OR gate, so what will be the probability of D this plus this minus this into this what is the probability of this this plus this minus this probability of this into probability of this. So, if you calculate you will get the probability of D is this probability of F is this again it is another OR gate. So, so that means what will be the probability of C probability of D plus probability of F minus probability of D into F will give you this one. Similarly, this side probability of B will be the probability of 10 to the power minus 2 plus 10 to the power minus 4 minus 10 to the power minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 this will give you this probability. Now, so that means now probability of B is known probability of C is known. So, probability of A will be known because again this is AND gate. So, this plus this minus this into this gives you this means what is probability of A 1 for example, then it will be probability of 0 1 0 0 9 9 plus 0 0.020978 0 minus 0 0.10099 into 0 0.02 0978 this is nothing but this value. So, similarly now you know this probability you also know this get a probability again and get is or get is there. So, this plus this minus this into this will give you this. So, 
So, then in this particular open example, the probability that burner will fail to run or fail to burn is 0 0.0318. So, that means what we are expecting that it at 100 times if you do uh, if you run uh, burn the, the oven 3 times it will it will not burn it is quite high in that sense. But, <coughs> um, but those probability values basic given probabilities values are not the true values it is basically hypothetical values I have given some probability values. Okay. So, that means these probability values will be much low so that this will also be much low that is actually uh, what will happen. But suppose if these are the probabilities bottom level probability comp basic given probabilities are like this this is the procedure you follow. Now, leakage of gas case see here. So, <coughs> these are the basic events suppose this is B 1, this is B 2, then this one is B 3, B 4, B 5, B 6, let it be B 7. So, you have data on B 1, B 2, B 7. So, B 1, 2, B 7 this probability data that means P B 1 to P B 7 this data are available with you. So, you the same manner as these are available here or gate. So, you know how to do suppose this probability will be this one. Now, this probability and this probability is known, but it is an AND gate. So, this into this so that means point zero zero nine one zero and two zero so 0.000975 will the probability of this this probability is known this probability is computed now this is an AND gate. So, this into this will give you this probability this side again this AND gate AND gate this into this this probability. So, now what happened you have an OR gate and you have one probability here another probability another probability. So, probability that means union of the probability of leakage of gas equal to probability of B 1 at this union this union this. So, then use the formula I mean this into this plus this into this plus this into this. So, like this all the intersection minus the common part 3 intersection and minus the common part ultimately will give you this one. So, which formula we will use here we will use this formula last case this formula. Okay. So, this is what is the gate by gate method. So, what we have done in gate by gate method? We started with the bottom most one, then bottom most gate, gate is first quantified and we will go, go up and finally, the top most gate will be quantified which will are nothing but the quantification of the top level event or top event. This is known as gate by gate method. So, I hope that you underst understood it fully because this is a very simple one and compute computation is also there very simple and essentially what happen whatever gates you have you you just if it is not and and or gate you transfer this or uh, transform to equivalent and and or gate. So, that this this boolean algebra case you will be able to use otherwise you have to use the straight away formula but it is difficult to remember, but and and or gate formula is easy to remember. Okay. Thank you very much.